Hey, it's Martin from ZSK Germany. In this video, we would like to show you how to operate the roll to basket device. To ease the insertion of the tape, I will place the tape control device to the left of the table plate and remove the frame from the tubular arms and pull it towards me. Take care that these clamps are not touching the pressure foots. After pulling through the tape from behind, we have to go underneath these clamps above the first rail, underneath the second underneath the third one as well and also underneath this ruler here. After that we can pull it through until the front of the frame here we need to go underneath the ruler, underneath the first roll, first we need to set the guides for the tape, therefore I placed these ones already to zero here on the ruler and then I bring over the tape and lay it slightly against the guides, and now I take the left ones, push it slightly against the tape and tighten them. After that, I need to take these clamps. If I have a tape that is thinner than 50 millimeters, I can use just one clamp. Then I can take these two to the highest position so that they have no function and the other one should be at nearly 90 degrees that protects the tape to being pulled back that we can check here directly and this is blocked so the setting is fine. Next I move back the frame between the tubular arms Move the tape control device back to the front of the table plate. In order to bring the pantograph to the right position, we need to clamp the tape. Therefore, we need to push ZSK to get to the manual mode, and then we are clamping first the front side and the back side. Now the tape is clamped, and we can move the pantograph manually on the T8 in the middle of the stitch plate. To insert the tape to the tape control device, open the cover, push the tape underneath the first rail, above the second, between the two rubber rolls, and with this button you can pull it through the rubber rolls. open the clamps and then you can pull through it and align these guides. After we have loaded design where it is important that the start and end point are in the center of the design, we have to activate the roll to basket device. Therefore we go to L2, L2 tool setups and here we have to check the box next to ribbon device. Then we can confirm with L8. After that we need to deactivate the machine home function, therefore we go to R1 and L1. Now we have deactivated the machine home function and we can confirm with L8. Now we need to do the setups for our tape, therefore we go to R2 ribbon device. Here we have to set the width and the length. The width is 30 millimeters and the lens should be 120 millimeters for our design. Then we can confirm with L8. Now we are ready to embroider. Now we need to set the amount of design repetitions. Therefore we go to R1 after we have loaded the design. Then to U9. Here we can set the amount of repetitions. In our case we take two. After we have entered the number we can confirm. 
Next, we need to set up the automatic mode on the tape control device. Therefore, we need to take care that the clamps are open. These two LEDs need to be off. Then we can switch with the ZSK button to the automatic mode. Here we need to take care that the device is set to pull and feeding. If this is correct, we can push start 2 and the device is ready. After we have set the automatic mode, we can start the embroidery. We hope this video was helpful for you and thank you for watching.